absolutely done. Yeah, that, always that factor that, oh my goodness, it's EG. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's a mental thing, you know, and that mental thing really, really comes down to play when you're going into those clutch spots, you know, the nerves kick in, but they do not have that dominance they once did, but the final 10 seconds are counting down here, all the players are in, ready to kick off game number two, let's hear it for both teams. Okay, let's start off, it's going to be Nate shot, and he's going to be running a shotgun straight away, so it's got to be a B push. Let's see how he uses this effectively, and like I said, he's going to be the X factor here for Optic Gaming on this S&D. Yeah, he is, and I'd say on the flip side, you know, at least from a slaying standpoint, I'd say, I'd say Krem, he's known to put up huge numbers, but he also runs around a little loosely at times. So we'll see how this one is going to play out. Nate Shot's going to be watching Snake with this shotgun, seeing if anyone tries to get over aggressive. But you can see via the Oracle mode, everyone playing slow and prone on the opposite side of Snake. Yeah, I'm going to jump on board with Proofy. Proofy's going to come against somebody here. There's two, maybe even three players that realistically get a beat on him. But he's going to get that bomb down. It will be advantage. Oh, no! Oh, wow, did he get away? Scump got him, Scump! you cover your teammate. Scump with a huge snipe there. Clay with that vector, basically an AR at times. Able to get the long shot there and clean that up. 4-2 advantage right now. Make it 3-2. Oh, Last one was going to be Krem gets taken out. Round one goes to Optic. The crowd here is getting riled up. They certainly have, and that was just fantastic there. I mean, Scump to have that kind of cover. You even saw, like, what, two bullets hit Proofy? Oh, yeah, I thought the second that bomb got down, Proofy was toast. But Scump the king coming up clutch. He really did, and that just kind of opened it up there. I mean, was it Dito? Clayster picked up Dito as well. Fantastic play by those teams. But now let's jump onto EG on the attack. Who would you like to watch, Maven? Uh, let's kick it off with Vakes. Let's see what he's going to do in this one. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, they've had some team chemistry issues, and that is, to me, is going to be a glaring factor the most in this type of game time. He's going to push up by map and War Room City here. See, you can see that player is done. He should be able to get an easy kill, but he pulls out the grenade and is going to get dropped. Well, that player, I believe, was blind. So, hell of a kill right there. Egg's going to drop. We are going to watch Cram trying to get nades in. Second kill will go to Teep. Going to be a 3v3. I'm going to quickly flick on an H up because he's still running that shotgun. And I want to see him kind of push with it and do some damage. I wonder if he's just going to wait. He's very patient when he's playing these. Yeah, uh, someone's going to be caught awkwardly with the, rotation? the shotgun surprise. It looks like a rotation. Uh, yeah, it looks like we are going to have a delayed rotation here. And on the rotation, Krim actually picks up a kill. That's a huge one as you're rotating because that was the player watching the cross. Good shots there by Krim. They have a 3-2 advantage. They need to try and get this bomb down as quickly as possible and get set up to hold this off. Nate's going to get caught cool here. Yep, and that's that's where the shotgun is going to be trouble. When they have to rotate out of B to A, that's going to be a difficult gun. Krim will clean it up. He gets that second and fourth kill. Great job out of him. Big round, all tied up at 1-1. One one. Yeah, they really needed that as well. I mean, they just that. I think that kill by Krimdix on the rotation was very critical. Oh, he yeah. opened it up, brought it to 3-2. He just meant they could leave someone on the hook, which ended up picking up Nade Shot. They just had numbers everywhere they needed them to make those trades. Well, that's the problem when you have a shotgun or a sniper in S&D. When you get caught down a man in like a 1v2 or a 2v3, and especially when you have to rotate, it's so tough to rotate with a sniper or a shotgun just due to the, the range difficulties of either. But uh, we will kick it off here with Clay. Player said he is feeling better before this event than he has an event in a very, very long time. We'll see if he can heat up here, get something going. He already is 3-1, and one, carrying the load for his squad. Now he's pushing out here. He's going to probably peek. There is a player here if he does peek. No, that player's moved. Place is going to get easy opportunity uh -oh. to look out. Nate shot to actually take him down Proofy. Place has gone out. A little bit of a wobble gets him eventually. He's going to get done down here. Yeah, it's but that wobble cost him. You know, he would have had something left in the clip to probably get the two-piece there. Unfortunately, due to the suspect, suspect shots, only able to get one. Now, we're going to watch Scump. Scump does have the sniper. Now, this is what I was talking about. When you're in these 2v2s, if this turns, if Nate shot drops, he has to have him alive. With just having that sniper, it's going to be so tough if he's put into a 1v2 situation. Scump, fortunately, he has another gun there. Yeah, I didn't, know he, didn't know if he was rocking a pistol or whatever. He is going to have the vector, so that will work out just fine. Here's a monster with that vector. Nature's going to see one here. He needs to take this one. He has got it. It's going to be eggs in a one versus two. Eggs goes around the corner. He's going to see one. He's picked him up. One more player to beat. It's Scum. He's already taken shots. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my goodness, Aches. Oh my goodness. Holy mother of God. Aches has just done the most ridiculous turn I've probably ever seen. And it looks like we might even have the bomb. No, bridge. he's waiting. Uh, we have cocky Aches back, maybe? No. Wow. Ooh. So Unbelievable, that glitch. was actually going to be the bomb glitch there, but Aix did manage to get it. Woo! Wow. Scum had bullets on him, he tagged him up, and uh, Aix just world starred him. Uh, that is, I believe, actually, if you Google world star, yeah, that's man. the definition. Holy hell, that was incredible, and that's going to be, what, a 2-1 one, yeah, one lead right now for actually EG. We yeah. will have to restart this one. All right, kills, let me see if I can remember this. We have... Four, eight, two. eight, and, oh, God, uh, eggs left. How many eggs have, though? 
You know, at least a, if somebody can round. tweet us out, I don't even have a pen, so I already forgot. <laughs> a, a for optic. <laughs> Hopefully we have somebody cre keeping track of this stuff. Yeah, production should have a, a well, I can just play it back, but that Ake's play. Well, I just think this restart's going to benefit Scump's brain. Because that was, whew. You can see Scump there in the booth actually on camera now. He is not happy. That was absolutely disgusting. You know, you can talk about, you know, maybe the lack of gun skill at times in Call of Duty Ghosts, but when something like that happens, I got chills. I think uh, you can hear the audience. That was the key thing for me. Just everyone went, oh, at the same time as we did. Yeah, that was absolutely <laughs> filthy. Wow. Well, okay, we're restarting this one up here. Obviously, Bomb Glitch prevented Aches from diffusing. He did actually stop for a second there after he just done it, realizing what he had done. But then he couldn't defuse the bomb, unfortunately. So we'll be 2-1 to ED when we go back into this search and destroy. And make some big plays. All right, we'll kick things off here. Like you said, we'll follow Ax. He's got to be feeling confident after that. And that type of play is something that actually it can get you so hyped it takes you through an entire game or series at times. So we'll see if they can continue that around win for Optic and a big play from Scumpy would be huge for the Optic side of things right now. It would. I went to before with Dito. Dito's quite far ahead in Snake, looking for a player. Oh, he's going to see one. He has paid it. That'll be called out. If TV can get this bomb down, it will be very much advantage. E.G. They have someone looking on the hook as well. It's going to be Aix. Make sure nobody flanks. Bomb has already gone down. Clayson gets a kill on the Crimsix. TP is still on bomb. He's in a bad position here. He's going to sneak out of there. Nose dies. He's going to see someone come through the window. He should be able to get it. He has taken down. They shot 3 3. Wow. You know, I thought he reacted a little slow to that, but still able to get the kill. It's like he didn't see him hopping through the window. Like you said, oh, three oh, versus C. Nice oh. shot to prove. Proofy and Scott able to clean up one left. And Optic oh. cleans it up. And that cannot happen. You're getting bombed down at B with four up. That is a round you have got to close out if you're EG. But that is exactly the win you need after how that last round went. Fantastic play. Proofy just snapshotted two people there very, very quickly. Almost got the third, but Scump eventually managed to clean it up. And there we go. It's going to be 2-2 in this search and destroy. Yep. And again, that is just, you know... That is a huge, huge win. I mean, B, B is the site that most teams go to because that is the easiest one to lock down once you have, if you have four alive. And, uh, you know, Clay got that first quick basically as, as fast. Right when the bomb went down, he got that first kill. The rest of his squad closed it out. Proofy, huge, huge round. We are on with Clay. He is going to be the first to push. If he can win this, tries to get the wall bag. Not able to clean that up. Bullets going Proofy everywhere. Though. But Proofy able to help out his teammate. Proofy now in a good position here. He's currently 3-0 and on this restart. And they have got the advantage in players. Another one goes down. It's two versus four. Optic Gaming should be able to close this round out. Now, TP gets one back. Two versus three. It's going to be TP and Dido facing off against the entire Optic Gaming squad, apart from Nate Shot. Oh, where can I get this bomb down? He should be safe, but that 4v2 has turned into a 2v2. Oh, These are going to be Proofy able to clean up. Proofy. And this is the Proofy show right now. 4-0. We now have a 3-2 lead on the restart. Restart seems to have benefited at OG. They've got their heads back into this game. I said it's only because of the eight clutch. This is a 4-1. Yeah, this is uh, this is nuts. And what what was his 4-2 advantage for them? So able able to lock that up, despite the fact that it did they did bring it back to a 2-2. And uh, huh, I would love to say I had an idea what the actual kill total was for these guys, but <laughs> if it does come to around 11, obviously we'll get everything figured out. Now it looks like we are going to have the first real. Full A push right now. This is going to be coming from the EG side. You see, it's a pretty good split here right now for Optic. They have a player right there inside the smoke. Let's see if they can first hit. That grenade's actually going to clean up. Placer, though, with a gigantic two piece. They answer back. It's going to be two versus two. Krim and Eggs. Eggs last alive here. He's got a lot of work, though. Scump and Nate Shot are alive. Let's see if he's able to clutch this. Do they know where he is? 
just I by think, looking I, at the camera. They're, they're both kind of facing his way, aren't they? I'm sure they did. He's going to see one there. Ace comes around the corner. He's going to get taken down. There's Stumpy, the king, Four, able, to, able to dominate Ace there. Answers back a bit. That 1v1 probably feels pretty good for Scump right now. Uh, really, uh, there you go. Just had him dialed in. And I think they actually saw him just before. I think he peeked him. So he yeah. knew he was coming yeah. from that direction. But great play there. I mean, Optic Gaming, this restart are looking unbelievable. All right, and that's going to make it, what, 4-2 to two in favor of Optic Gaming. If you are just tuning in for whatever reason, make sure you're telling your friends and family, tweet out the stream, turn it on. This is one hell of a series. Optic did take game one, working towards taking a 2-0 lead in this series, which would be huge for their pool. Well, now Prithi looks like he's going to go for an early plant. Actually, E.G. have stacked B, and that's going to be bad for them. And I believe we do have a bomb glitch. It looks like we are going to be having... Another restart? I uh, think we're going to go for a restart. Are we going for a restart? We're done. Restart. Yep. All right. So 4-2 advantage. I am completely giving up hope of having any idea how many kills these <laughs> players have at this point. <laughs> we're just going to have to make it up towards the end. Let's end that and give it the full restart. Uh, it's unfortunate there that we can't really keep hold of those stats. I'd love to see who's going huge. I mean, I think, what, three of Optic in that round? 4-1, 4-1, 4-0. was flawless. Oh, yeah. It was a, it was a proof. Proof and clay show in those first couple of rounds, and then, you know, Scumpy coming up big at the end. But uh, that restart, what can you say? No, I said no, it might favor <laughs> Scumpy. It favored the whole squad. Maybe, they maybe, really got it rolling. Maybe it'll turn around now. Maybe this one will favor EG. I mean, it's, it's well, obviously, it's not great that we have to keep restarting it because yeah. we can't keep it on the kills, and that's very important if we go to a game five. Yeah, I mean, we're not very bright, so we, not, we cannot be relied <laughs> upon. Thank God we have, you know, like COD stats and stuff like that to keep us updated here. Uh, if it comes down to that, someone please alert us to what we're looking at for a kill count if this does manage to go to around 11. But as hot as Optic has looked after that first restart, this does seem to be their game to lose. They're playing well. They're commanding this series. Great stuff out of Optic Gaming after, his, after last night's disappointing loss to Rise. It certainly is. If, I think I was actually tweeted earlier, and someone said if Optic Gaming win this series, then it's a three-way tie. Well, they'd have to win this series and also... They still, the play, series, yeah. they still have to play the open bracket could, team. Yeah, they could still very play the open bracket could team. Very yeah. likely be a I was about to say, today, I was like, did Optic play on Bravo against the open no. bracket team? Because that, but, okay, but likelihood of them actually winning it, and it could be yeah, very yeah, likely no, no, a three-way yeah, tie. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's that's what a couple pools, uh, the curse pool, uh, what is the curse most wanted, you know, excellence. Those guys are looking at a similar situation being a possibility, depending yeah. on how that plays out. Looks like we might have a three-way tie in this. Just for those of you at home, how it works, you know, if you have two teams tied, it comes to head-to-head. -to -head. If you have a three-way tie, it does go to map count. So map count does mean everything in that situation. Now, we are counting down for this one. 4-2 advantage optic. What do you think? How's this one going to end, Bryce? Honestly, I can't see optic with the way they're playing these, since the restart, kind of losing it, if I'm honest. So, but you never know, the restart, the reversal of fortune, anything could happen here. But you can see on your screen right now just how pumped Optic are. Unbelievable. They just look so hard. Look at Scum there. From earlier on, you remember when he, he got the ache for the clutch against him? Yeah. He, he looked broken. Now, he's bouncing in his seat. He's smiling. He's like, yes, let's do this. People don't realize how much energy and big plays like that actually affect a player and a series. Now, here we go, kicking it off with Clay. Let's see if they can bring this to five to two. Looks like we are gonna have a B push with one player in a position to watch that mid blue lane. Clay so goes straight in, Proofy picks up an early kill there. Crimson's going down as well, a nade shot. Two versus already. He's gonna come back in, Clay so takes it down. It's gonna be up to Dito. One versus three, Clay so goes down That is shot. it, there's that shotgun finally being affected. Five two. Plays on his feet. The crowd's getting into it. One round away from taking a 2-0 lead. That smile on Scum's face could not be any bigger. What, a, what a beautiful smile that kid's got. <laughs> but there we go. He's like a young George Clooney. It's map point here for Optic Gaming to take a 2-0 lead over EG. Can they do it? I don't see why not. They're rolling right now. Again, like you said, since that first restart, it has been all Optic Gaming. We are going to start off here with Dito. He's going to be pushing through elbow. Looks like we are going to have another A push out of the guys from EG. They're going to nade it first. Last time they caught a player right on the bomb site. This time it was an optic stack there. They have one player you see. He is on Clayson B. Clayson could catch people here. He yes, could catch he two might. here. He could catch two. Clayson is going to get one. He is going to get shut down, unfortunately. TP now in a one versus three to keep their health alive on this map. He has to do the impossible. He's gone long range. He's got one. Oh, he's, oh, God, timing there. May have just ruined him. He needs a reload. He's able to get up, see if he can turn on this player. He's got two. That one. He's one got one. two. Last player was top control. This is going to be huge. Tons of time. 50 seconds left on the clock. He does have the bomb. Let's see if he's going to try and go for this kill or try to work the plant. Nade shot versus TP. Can TP pull off this clutch? Oh, my goodness. Oh, sweet. 
Oh, you seem to be seeing him. Nitro's going to save the The timing there does pop. The clutch in the 1v1. 6 2. Optic Gaming will take this game. 2 0 lead in the series. What have we just watched? Unreal. Just, just what a, a reversal. A after, after, after that X kill, I was like, oh my god, EG's going to start rolling. And, you know, that didn't happen. It was the, it was the opposite. You get the restart. It takes kind of. You know, not to make excuses, but to a degree, it takes the energy out of it. Optic wins that first series, gets behind each other. You see him getting on the feet. The crowd's behind him. They start firing on all cylinders. Impressive stuff there out of Optic Gaming. Well, there you go. 2-0 to Optic Gaming. Going into map number three, which is going to be Freight Blitz. But just ridiculous action here at UMG Nashville, Maven. And like I said, this feels like a final, and it's certainly living up to the hype. Yeah, that's, you know, that's why these series are always the best. I mean... Even though these two teams are not, not necessarily the one and two right now, as they were months ago, the energy, the passion, the fans, this is so, so fun. We're going to hop to a quick commercial break. Do not go anywhere. Game three coming up next.